Welcome to the shop. It's finally a beautiful morning here in the spring in the Pacific Northwest. Out there is my Willie's pickup, which caused my dead vehicle disease. Here's the postal jeep, and this morning we're going to put some seam sealing compound right here on the underside of the drip rail. We put some seam seal on the top side of the drip rail. And uh, we also managed to put some around the front. This is my pathetic attempt at faux matching the paint scheme or the rust scheme. I'll work on it. I need to get the right brown color, which I haven't been able to find. But I'm going to put some seam seal on right now and we'll put it on time lapse. Welcome back to the shop. I forgot to charge my GoPro batteries. So a brief Postal Jeep update. I mounted the fuse panel back in its position. I've got wire still twisted around on the floor. But I put it back up. It doesn't seem to be shorting anything out. That's a good thing. Almost ready to put one seat back in. I've got some primer underneath the drip rail. I'm going to spray some faux patina start in on that. And I was able to take the passenger seat and make it look almost presentable. So I'm going to see if I can turn that into the driver's seat. We'll see. This battery on this GoPro is running out, so that's enough for today. And I'll show you the painting results in a few minutes. All right, well, I've got a little bit of iron oxide primer on the under rails on the seat structure. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of, I don't know, red or some noticeable color under the lever that you use to adjust the seat. I think I'm going to be able to live with the way it is right now because the seats just aren't worth saving but I should be able to use it and adjust it properly and have some fun with it anyway I think that's it for today I'm going to put the rest of the tools away and go sit down and watch TV for a while welcome back to the shop well this morning I'm just cleaning out the rear of the Jeep I have to solve the fuel system problem and put a gas tank in but in the meantime this cap, which covers the fuel sender hole for the old tank, is in really bad shape. The floor is warped and bent up out of shape on this. I'm going to try and hammer and dolly that back together. And in the meantime, I'm just using a wire brush to kind of scratch through stuff. Seat belt over there is full of mold. and uh, But the more I do this, the more I enjoy it. So... I guess I'll just keep at it and, and uh, scrape dirt off of it and do some things like I'm trying to find the proper tool for digging this out. I've got it. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> I've been using it. And then I'm going to put some seam sealer in here and sort of make sure that this is all figured out properly. Some seam sealer in here. Don't know why that's expanded. There's a... Uh, a big dent in the top of the roof here and this whole bracket's been pushed in so in order to do that I have to remove the headliner panels which probably need to be removed in any case and uh, sort of bash it out with a hammer but that might not be for today anyway we'll uh, put it on uh, time lapse and let you watch me scrub dirt off the bottom of a jeep floor pan
as is often the case. When you get to doing one thing, you kind of want to do another thing. So I think what I'm going to do is detach my fuel from hose from the Jeep entirely, possibly just disconnect it from the gas tank and stuff it all down through the hole, get it out of the way so I can work on it. I think that's a good plan actually. I think that's what I'll do is detach it from the gas tank. Of course that assumes that it'll come off of the gas tank. Let's go put this somewhere safe. Well, it's early afternoon. Still cold out today, but we're going to throw some cheap and nasty 99 cent black paint onto the underside of this. that good oh there's an airplane I sure miss my airplane and we'll try for a little bit of cheap and nasty black paint on the underside of this too had a chance to refurbish the spot welder this morning and put it on the welding table where it kind of belongs and uh, we're going to do some experimenting with it in a few minutes well maybe not a few minutes but somewhere in the short near future see if we can't get it functioning properly just going to bang on this and see what happens Well, let's go see if we can scrape some of the rust off of this puppy here. Get it ready to weld up this broken part and get it ready in general for some painting and replacing.
Right, well it's not pretty, but there's some seam sealing that's been done here. And it'll certainly make it more waterproof. I bashed out the hole and straightened it a little bit. I left that particular bit of the seam open because there's a return valve on the far side of the fender there that I want to deal with and there's some more seam sealing. So basically, it's been pleasant and uh, a little bit of work got done. Out here there's some primer, the seats reassembled, fully reassembled as it were and seems to slide in a much more effective manner than it did previously so haven't tightened all the bolts down because I need to adjust them when I put the seat in spot welded this little repair piece here and put some primer onto the cover And that's that. And I think that's it for the day. So thanks for watching.